Welcome back. Phase two of reconstruction efforts at Sperry Chalet and Glacier National Park are almost complete after a fire back in 2017 nearly burned it to the ground. In part one of our special report, MTN's Marin Sue goes on special assignment to show us just how difficult it is for crews to access the remote site. 12 miles round trip is quite the hike, but it's worth it when Sperry Chalet is your view. Perched at 6,000 feet in Glacier National Park, this is the view people have been waiting to see since the historic Sperry Chalet burned in August of 2017. But this is the part you don't see, the six mile uphill hike to the chalet. And this is where my day starts, at the bottom of this 3,000 vertical incline, one foot in front of the other. Slowly is how myself and building crews got to Sperry Chalet. As we huff and puff up the steep trail, Site Superintendent TJ Lashley says what the big biggest challenges of working at 6,000 feet are. Anything that comes in either comes on your back or pack mule train or my favorite is the helicopter operations. And the helicopter with materials comes only once in a while, sometimes once a week, sometimes every other week. Lashley says the work is so grueling, two separate crews rotate shifts. Every eight days they switch. Eight days is a pretty long stint. Um, wouldn't be anywhere else, but you don't have your hotel room, your TV. You can't get away from any of the other guys, any of the other workers. You're up there for eight days straight. And along the way, I can still see some of the damage the Sprague fire left behind. The fire grew over 16,000 acres and severely damaged the chalet. But now crews are in phase two of the multi-million dollar rebuilding efforts. At 10, I'll give you one of the first looks inside the chalet and tell you what you can expect to see once it's complete. In Glacier National Park, Marin Sioux, MTN News.